but yeah enough of me rambling let's get into the um live stream already but as y'all can see you already see miss um i mean a father herself arlequino papa kino as i like to um call her her old chibi self so yeah let's get into it It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Remurians believed their king Remus would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the High Sea. However, the God King's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Fortuna? Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today, welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. Let's take a look at the trailer. That voice from Arlequinos, the voice actors, they be mm, eating it up, truly. I'm like, damn, their actual voice. I'm like, oh shit, the talent, truly. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food. Oh, the cookout! I'm, I'm gonna come. Hopefully, hopefully, um, it's seasoned because I know um, you Fontanians. Y'all, wait, was it Fontaine or was it Inazuma? One of y'all season, and it's scary. Y'all, it's really scary. Y'all need to season the food. Food compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you- Oh, Sino! I hate them! I was like, oh, I hate them. It's been a minute, I hate them. It was a great plan shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stasia? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not anticipate we would meet again after- I don't want to deal with that new enemy. Y'all seen that? Let's, let's roll that back. I don't want to deal with that. Ooh, that's the volume. I don't want to deal with that at all. But the new area looks cute, though. Very pretty, very pretty, very nice. You already know. Get you eating up with the, um, the environment. Just delicious. Plan will lose a lot of... Look how pretty that looks. Like, wow. Members in the press. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> you can take it. You can take it back. Put it back in the drafts. Put it back as a concept. May, pr mostly put it back as a concept, a thought in the brain. No, but I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the gnosis. Oh, Nuvi, my Nuvi, will we be seeing him in um, are the key? We'll be seeing him again. I, I love my Nuvi. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless mm. absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within the Fontaine. Oh, Alakino. Ooh. Transfixed. Everlasting as the moon. Y'all see her attacks? Oh, let's roll that back. She looking good. Papa looking well, well good. Wait. Thin Fontaine. And she got a scythe? Is that's a scythe? Oh wow! Her Sigi is a scythe. And she got a wing. Transfixed. 
everlasting as the moon! An order once given cannot be rescinded. Oh, who that? Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds- Oh, from now, oh, my baby, what happened? Oh, you know, I know what happened. It's out about this. Everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. Who is that? The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I'm not saying I. Oh, what's, wait, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, oh. Is she fighting the kids? She's fighting the children. Um, what's going on? I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. You among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with Please. tainted water. We I'll make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned Why? to its clean. Okay, so many voices are going on in the background of this. I'm like, I'm trying to like listen. I hear my I hear my new V, then I'm hearing Lynette and just so many voices. And at the same time I'm trying to look at this beautifulness on the in the um on the screen. I'm like, oh, Okay, come on, shoot. Let's go back. I'll make sure it's drained of all impurity. That's a delusion. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> she's using all that power. He's in return to its cleanest. Look, look at them shoot. <laughs> come on, inches. Good things come to children who do as they're. Ooh, scary, but beautiful at the same time. Hold. So I do hope you decide to tag along. <laughs> of course we find her with that dull blade. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. And I Does he side boob? For one. Oh, oh, you can see side boob a little bit. Okay. Hmm, okay, yes. I don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. Well, her Wait. outfit is, is eat. Have you backed us into a corner? Obviously, this is like literally her in boss mode. No demonstration. But look at the out, like, oh my god, the detail. Of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Two worlds, a flame, the crimson night fades. Oh, okay. But yeah, she's fighting the kid. What's I, that trailer? A lot is a lot is happening. The kids are they in trouble? The children of the house, like, what's going on? Like their faces. Well, Lynette's face looking sad. For Lynette, his face is always a little, but it's not that sad. It's just, and then Lenny obviously plain faced. But yeah, what's gonna be happening? But Lena is a little worried. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everyone. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Hey, everyone. My name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice of Arlequino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui Harbinger known the as Nave. the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah. Hi, folks. I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, he is. Yeah. And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. What up? It's me, <laughs> Max Middleman. Hey, everybody, what's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude, so good. <laughs> Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. <laughs> vibes for this. <laughs> All right, well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. 
I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Erin, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, mm -hmm. is, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it! Yeah. Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> mm -hmm, definitely. I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But that's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Strict. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah. Yeah, she would. She would just step on your neck with them sharp heels without skipping a beat. <laughs> But at the same time, she cares, though, because she really did care in um, the Archon quest, obviously, about Fontaine and all that, and the people. So I'm like, in saving her her home. So I'm like, yeah. But from first glance, you wouldn't get that. <laughs> hey, Glitch. Uh, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though... The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children who are their age, you know? Mm, that's actually kind of sad though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? They put alert, Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why did the children call her father? Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in, in the, the story game. quest. The fair story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Yeah, I know we're going to be deep diving up in the story to find out more information. Definitely. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But... I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate our Lakino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> her entire story? <laughs> uh, so it, it's going to be like a whole A situation, um, which is um, Electra Archon. Because her second arc, um, Miss um, A, Electra Archon's second act, story quest, made me really just like feel for her. So I'm just like, yeah. So I wonder, is it gonna have that same effect or different? Obviously differently, because of different stories, obviously. But yeah, I want it gonna have that same like, mm, to it. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, if you use the feature while playing Arlequino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other Oh, places. hey, Miss Mew. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. Oh, okay, what mode is this? And in the future, this function will become available for more experience cool. being allocated to other quests. Mm. So then it will minimize the number of times. Then it will. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Now, if oh. you use the feature while playing Arlecchino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Oh, yeah, that's good. So hopefully that's... this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's awesome. <laughs> we'll finally be able to. Yeah, her her um Aaron's um voice was um obviously y'all know obviously if you watch the um live stream who voiced Miss Arle um Papa Kino. Her I'm like damn because obviously her um regular voice and then when she's playing all like and I'm like damn the voice like differences. I'm like yes again talent truly. <laughs> all these VAs down here I'm like. Mwah to hear what she thinks about the other harbingers too yes i selfishly also think that will be cool <laughs> yes <laughs> so, next let's take a oh yeah about the oh yeah her um voice lines about the other um harbingers oh oh yeah that the for two har yeah that would be interesting look at arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style Ooh. <laughs> intrigue <laughs> yeah staring into my eyes is ill-advised I can't promise you'll like what you see. Oh, one of her um idols is her sitting in her, sitting on a, a chair. Yes. And by chair I mean throne. I'm sorry, I, I corrected myself. Transfixed. Oh, the um her little um spiky things come up from the ground, and apply pyro damage. Oh, but it's so fl I love it. So flashy. And she floats, yo. She fl we have another character that can um float. Hello. This is where you fall. And that's her all so sick. Oh, oh, <laughs> so cool. that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she glides. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Yeah. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Uh, no, I just remember that line, that red line with a health bar, not the health bar, with a health symbol in red line. I know about that when they hit us and supplies. I'm like, what is this? Yo, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar when you have a bond of life. Yeah, that. That's what I was talking about. That red bar with the health symbol. <laughs> active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when Arlequino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which Ooh. can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. Ah. While she's in this state, her normal attacks... Her attacks just look so sick. Like, ooh, uh, her equal to a ooh. certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's yeah, it's a lot of information. <laughs> You're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> no, wait, I get it. Wait, so it, it, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, Yeah, imagine if they did that sick. Very sick. That 
That sounds kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies, it also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. <laughs> okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her- Oh, ooh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm like, damn, okay. She gets healed when she uses her ult, okay. Her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage. Girl needs more pyro damage? Damn, she's already gonna get enough pyro damage when you um when she's in the bond of life, because it puts, give her more, like, she gonna be, <laughs> sound like she's gonna be cracked but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Mm. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as yeah, she yeah. is to mm. her enemies. Mm -hmm. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> 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 she's kind of a savage, I mean. Don't, don't make me sing the song, I'm a savage. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for yeah, we have we have another one. We have we have another one. I know um the wanderer obviously he can do this. Oh, there's another person I'm just slipping my brain capacity. Oh, Nuvi when he's um charging up his um his um water gun, powerful water gun, and uh, somebody else. This is this another person. I'm just slipping, but I'm like yeah. There's um a few characters that can do this, and it's so cool. Scaring your enemies. Yes. Yeah, and she just got one wing. She's floating on one wing. We're putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Ooh, let's yeah. do it. So exciting. All right. Let's see who's going to be on the banners. We already know. <laughs> Our Lakino obviously going to be in the first spot, but let's see who's going to be um, running with her. <laughs> During the first phase of version 4.6, Arle <gasps> Her son, her son is running with her. Okay, so Papa Kino and her, um, her son, Lenny. So, okay, Gucci, Gucci, okay. Two pyro characters, five stars. But no, that's so cute how they have them running together. Oh, I like that. Kino, the knave, and Lenny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will also become available. Oh, that weapon looks so good. So yeah, y'all. Um, you already know. <laughs> I did say when I was pulling for um, what's her name? Shuri. I was I was wavering on if I'm gonna get Arlequino or not. I was wavering, but after seeing her um, gameplay and I'm like, she coming home, she coming home. And then plus all like bonus, all the bonus um pyro damage she freaking gets on a lot of um her um E. And then of course she gets um her passive. I'm like, oh my God, she gonna be cracked. And that's it. Her like, her fighting attacks and all that looks just so, and y'all know I love flashy, just things looking cute, like, bleh, amazing. So yeah, she, she coming home. Cause I was on the, I was like, do I want to get her or do I want to, I was, uh, but I'm like, she, she coming home, she coming home. She, she, she's a baddie. She's coming home and also too she is guaranteed because <laughs> she wasn't guaranteed because y'all know i just said i got shuri when i um pulled her when um 4.5 launched but i did some pulls off stream because i wanted um to get young Fei because my young Fei was c4 c6 c i think she was c5 and i wanted to get her c6 and i did like some cheeky 10 pulls and then on the 20 pull and I think I yeah, I was in 20 pity too, so I'm in a five star happened. I was like, oh, for once I get an early. For it's funny how it happened. I was like, for once I get an early. Like I haven't had an early ever since. I always go to 70 plus, but that time I got early. I'm like, oh, who it is? I, I was I was putting on newbie banner. I was like, I was like, if I'm gonna get him C1 or get a, a standard five star, and 
since i told y'all she's guaranteed i got a standard five star which was chi chi she wanted to come home so yeah so all the kino is papa kino is guaranteed to come home so we don't gotta worry about her coming home because she she coming but i think i might want to do a cheeky gamble for her weapon though i'm like it looks it it turns into a whole scythe this weapon <laughs> so i'm like when she uses it so i'm like i might i might i might i might go try to try to get it back it and also too since laney's running on her um running alongside her too so his weapon gonna be on there so if i lose the 50 50 i won't well 50 50 well yeah well the y'all know the weapon better hitting all that if i lose the weapon to either lenny or a random five star it'll be it'll be okay but i want to try to see if i can bag this for her because I also too I got Lenny, so I'm like, if I do get Lenny's weapon, I can put a red on him and build it up for him. Also, the Wanderer and Baiju will return. <gasps> oh, Wanderer and Babu in the second phase. Luckily, I got all of, both of them, so I can save. So that's <laughs> so good. So I don't have to worry about second phase since there wasn't any other new characters anyway. So because all the Kuno was the only one that got drip marketed, so yeah, that's good. I can save my primos for 4.7. So be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? <gasps> Actually, I do. Let's <gasps> discuss the new weekly boss. Oh. Uh, the knave. Oh, lovely. <laughs> that's oh right. We were just talking about how the Knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you ready to see a new Knave? Yes! Ready? Yes! We already can see she looking good. Hey. So ready! A whole hand. She got two wings. Oh, I like how she used her wings so she can transform into her delusion. I think she using her delusion here. I, it looks like her. To look, she, she knows she's serving so much right now in this right there in that form. Like, oh. Yes. Y'all, we're gonna see how these boss this um boss battle gonna be true. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I'll make sure I'm like, is she using her delusion? Yeah, she's using her delusion. It's um it's turned into a it turned into it on her back where her um vision be. So yeah. Wow. Not even Linny and Fremine have seen this side of her before. Really? So the knave is accepting challengers now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's so, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. <laughs> hey, bad it's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson waiting to counter your attacks wait why that was i always compare when they get character well when characters what i'm trying to say well mainly it's been the harbingers if i'm correct well tartaglia who else tartaglia the wanderer well S S scaramouche slash wanderer and now the knave when we get them when they're playable characters it's like i always I wonder why they didn't give us some of their um boss when they're bo weekly bosses level of like powers i'm like like a little bit we won't give us a lot but a little bit more like like how she look how she was just gliding like i'm like why didn't get that that would have been so cool if we could like use that ability a little bit <laughs> oh hey angel 
Yeah, it seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like she's... Now she's using her um, scythe as a yo-yo right there. I was like, she had a little string right there. Implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative, even if their opponent is their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Mm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But uh, if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Ah, okay, okay. Ooh. Oh, if we don't play that, um that debt back she gonna legit annihilate us so get to know huh. get to know i'm a little if scared you to a little scared all her attacks against you if you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you all her attacks against you will be enhanced but if you manage to outheal the bond of life the knave <laughs> will reward you for repaying this blood debt and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced okay don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> like it. Oh my gosh. It's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. Mm -hmm. oh, it's kind of creepy being the hunted one for once. <laughs> <sighs> So, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction here. <laughs> Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. <gasps> yeah. Yes. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, oh, they'll damn. be able to challenge her directly 40. by going to the adventurer handbook, going to the domains tab, selecting Trounce domains, and pressing quick challenge. Wow. Um, Sorry for people who under 40, you gotta, um, Gotta wait, you gotta wait a little bit. If you level, um, yeah, 40 and below, well, level 39 and below, gotta wait <laughs> to get to 40. Oh, that's cool. That's a yeah. nice little shortcut to the battle. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that is really- Yeah, because we gonna be trying to get her already leveled up <laughs> as quick as possible. <laughs> Really valuable information to have. And it also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. <laughs> Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Oh. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned for more information. Cool. Oh, they're going to say the information on here because sometimes they usually don't say the information on what these artifacts do. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. But oh, they look so pretty though. Cool. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey! Not for some reason, Sino. But yeah, we got to um act two for Sino. So we get to hang out with him more. We miss you, Sino. How did you know about that? It, his picture is right there. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Sino wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity and the two of them share a close connection. Oh, sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Yes. Not violent. These are all very good guesses, <laughs> but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with con <gasps> Who is that? Who is wow, the detail on him looks really good. Connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Hmm. Oh look at all that hair in the back. Yes. Oh the oh the braid. I just see the braid in the hair. I'm like, oh wow. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. <gasps> will we be seeing all of them in his story quest? We better. <laughs> the second act. 
Of course, his man Tanari gotta be there, so you better be posted up. So yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act Two. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. Yes, I miss Sumeru. I miss it so much. In due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait. some important information wait, to share. Wait, 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 wait. Really? Wait, yes. wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. C can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest <laughs> all of it, please? Oh, Damon, please. please. <laughs> he can't keep getting away I with this. <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, wow. That was amazing. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm sure they now just, um, I, I legit forgot all about the code. I'm like, oh, because they usually would, like put them in a little earlier, but then they waited like, they, they got a, they gave a lot of information then put the code. I'm like, damn, okay. But yeah, yeah, I haven't gotten the code. Obviously it's over there. They should be still good. Obviously, if you're watching this days, go, of course, they're not anymore, but if you're watching this while I'm live now, see if you, got, if you didn't get them. But yeah, as I said, Papa Kino, she's coming home. She guaranteed her weapon. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to see. I'm going to see. But I don't like how Lynette looks in the um, photo right there. She looks so sad. Or maybe like word, not like sad, but she's like, Hey, word. welcome back, everyone. So hey. we've already told you the story of Arlequino and the House of the Hearth. So why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. We love new areas to explore. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this little town looks so uh, whole- Oh, there's a cat. <laughs> Who's gonna address the cat that's in, in the, in the um, golden orb next to us? A lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. What? Ooh. Oh my gosh, uh, that's amazing. Giving city of Atlantis. Thank you for a talking cat. <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm, I, I actually, I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain it in a few <laughs> words. So you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the oh. Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnants slumber in the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Dun. So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in mm -hmm. the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. 
Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the faded castle, oh, no. silently proclaiming the immortality and glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh, yeah. Oh, centaur. Right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> Me oh, too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> that was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village. Oh, we're getting another automatic, automatic waypoint. Village of Petricor. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting. I know. As it should. So cool. All right. That's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. <laughs> like we just didn't get hit with the um, first one. They pushed them towards the end. We see middle t towards the end. Man, yeah, but cannot wait to explore that new area, the um, lost city of Atlantis, <laughs> in the new um, in the new um, version. <clears throat> oh, the music is so um, so peaceful. Welcome back, everyone. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Of course, Edo is involved into this one. <laughs> That's why I said, oh, no. I'm like, Edo, he's involved. We've been seeing Edo a lot lately. We've just been seeing him back to back in um, events and events. I'm just like, I love it. Okay. I hear that a musical tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So, I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> like, I don't know who that man is. Of course. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right, yeah. yeah. Both Hu Tao and Xin Yen performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's right. And oh, this him. time, it's an epic tour for the ages organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, oh my gosh. And even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. No, the way he says, iridescent, arataki, rockin' for life, tour to force of awesomeness, really gives up. Yeah. <laughs> him and these long titles for the event. Feeling of rock and roll. Wow. <laughs> and the theme of this concert is about life. Specifically, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww. Aww. That's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> what? Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yes, Can't wait to see that. Hems, here's more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Ooh. Another instrument to add to our collection. So if you enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> all right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one. 
Extreme Carnival Ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with some rhythm games while the stage- Oh, it's gonna be- Oh, we got a rhythm game. Just still coming together. Wow, those keys look really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. Mm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket no. Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> My a tongue rock and look music look festival without stumble. a rock and venue. So, travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, <laughs> we have the Meeting of Melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, oh. so we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. Yeah. Oh, cannot wait to have. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, we'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say, Wind Trace, Sisters <gasps> and Strategy has finally arrived? What? Oh, <laughs> for the people who've been wanting Wind Trace is back. It is back and back. <sighs> Yes, I love Wind Trace, and and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, that the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes. Yeah. Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before. But there are a few new rules. Ooh. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Now, they will be automatically freed after their time out, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. Oh, that's but neat. if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> oh. Ooh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh, there's oh, no. more. Each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebels' goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. Wow. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But th mm -hmm. the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks mm. that can be the most nerve wracking. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I, I was just thinking when you're just, um, when um, Max was explaining it, I'm like, this is giving very much, um, a little bit, not obviously all the way, but it's giving very much, um, Z to Z, no way in sense. I'm just like, okay. But no, this is definitely very, um, they trying to switch it up, obviously, from the old Wind Tracer. Wind Tracer? Is that the name of the pen? Yeah, Wind Trace. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, I'm saying the name right? Yeah. From the old one, just hiding and then the uh, person who um it seeking out everybody this it gives it very much new and fresh revamped i like it hmm. this is going to be super interesting to play yeah. yeah oh absolutely and in another event travelers will receive a rather strange commission Ooh. what do you mean rather strange what i mean is there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients and he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine huh why? Oh yeah, and not just a pyro regis fine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision and a jade plume terror shroom and the millennial pearl seahorse. Huh? Why? You guys heard me the first time. <laughs> yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon and he started getting... Our first indicator of Natland. Some idea. Well, maybe, probably not first, but uh, more information about not land. Ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That Saurian? What are, what are those? We getting information about Natland? What is? Who got short? What is companions? They have companions. What are those? 
What are they? I can already hear the cons- this, mm, people just um, cons- um, thinking of what what is that? What what, uh, what what is it about? Not like what do campaign these campaigns all already 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 see and hear the um, videos and all that analyzing that bit of information we got on that land. I'm just like, yo, we're trying to dig up every little crumb we can get for this next nation. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Wait, did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> of the Virgin is Live, all right? But for now, it's time for me to introduce... Uh, Damon was like, you said not land? And Max was like, eh, eh, no. We, back to what we we need to be talking about. We can't discuss too much information about not land. I'm like, okay, damn it, damn. We can't know shit. The game club. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, here you. All right, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Mm. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You Ooh. can trigger active strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Ooh. That's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event. Ah, uh, this event. Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, it seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that means that so is much coming. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Sarah Miller Cruz. Thank you. And <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event, The Forge Realms Temper, will be returning in version 4.6. Yes. The Heated Battle Mode will also receive an update, so don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> And there's going to be an overflowing mastery event, so you can more easily train up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes. job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. oh. and I sure did. And since you introduced so many events in one go, <laughs> I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I, yes, you agree? I was well, going to say, I, I agree, agree too. I agree. agree. <laughs> so how about now, let's check out the, the, the last, last redemption, redemption code. code. Woo! Woo! <laughs> hmm, but yes, yeah, so many events. Was there ever a stream that they didn't mention Gene Supplication TCG? I wonder. But yeah, but I can't wait to see all our Inazuma friends again for this event, the rock and roll event. We see Kuki, we see Heizo, we see Yoimiya, obviously, Ido. Obviously, he's um in charge. I forgot to say his name, the, standing right next to him playing the um, guitar. And we got Yaimiko up there. <laughs> so, can't wait to see them all. Them all. If they um pop up.
Yeah, I hope y'all um got your, all your codes. This last one. Welcome back, everyone. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Nice. Ooh. First up, uh, we have some updates for the Serena teapot, uh. such as the quick obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue, where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> so convenient. The Avatar system will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display. <laughs> oh, this is cute. This is cute. I seen when they tweeted out the um, they tweeted this out about the um, all the uh, optimi optimizations and stuff and all that. Yeah, I seen this. This is really cute. Oh, oh that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's Arama. And yeah, from the um the island in Inazuma that you had to go back. I think you had to go back to it. It was covered in um snow. Not snow. Not snow. I mean clouds. It was covered in fog, not clouds. Fog. It's been y'all. It's been a minute since I did that world event in Inazuma. Child. Yeah, it was a bunch of fog. <laughs> And the Thunderbird and Rue oh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The compasses will also include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, that's way more yeah. intuitive. If we can finally maximize the um, world level. Well, not world level. Child, what is it called? Exploration. <laughs> now because some it's always the um charter chests if you like did everything in that area and it still wasn't like 100 percent, it usually sometimes be the treasure chests but now with this we can spot them and know in what exact area that it is so yeah very much helpful mm -hmm. it's time to eradicate all the maps with 99 percent exploration progress heck yeah, yeah. exploration oh, yeah. Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. Ooh. Let's go music! Yeah. yeah, that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. yes. Yes. Music is my favorite! So hyped. <laughs> oh no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. Oh. I know, yes. I know. So I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Oh. So, yeah. wrap it up. Is, is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Ven answer uh, right now in this moment? Um, it's okay, you've got now. this. You've okay. got this. Okay, uh, okay. I'll make go. it easy and just... Um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, we've did, we've we did all. a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so oh, cool. Totally. She definitely she's is. so freaking cool and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things mm. and that's all I'm gonna say right now, guys. Yeah, it's Yay. so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It yeah. is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording, so. Oh, um, oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> wow. So that means it's going to be extra good, too. Oh, I'm excited for all of those things too. And I'm also really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much. <laughs> and it sounds like there's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6. So I hope Seriously. everyone's excited. Yes, I am. Yes. Yay! Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so glad I got to be here with <laughs> you guys. Yeah, it's just like such a great time. <laughs> So thanks for being here, and I think that's all we've got for this program. So we will see you all in game. See you guys Bye. in the game. Bye. 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 Bye.
And that's it, y'all. That was it for the um, special program. It only took me an hour and 14. It wasn't two. But yeah, a lot, a lot, um, a lot. New area, events, visiting old friends. You always know. New area in Fontaine. Who knows? Of course, Alakino boss battle Alakino on um, the nave. So that one gonna be interesting. Sino's um story quest part two act two. I mean, and that new character that he was with. I'm like, who is that? Because that was the character that I accidentally seen a little bit of. I tried not to look at them. I was like, oh shoot, I'm supposed to see who that is. I see him a little bit more. I was like, oh, who is that? Probably a new, obviously it's gonna be a playable character in the future, but I'm like, ooh, can I wait, wait? And then going into Inazuma with the um concert. Just so much. And then of course the um Wind Trace event re um revived and renewed. So definitely gonna be interesting. But yeah, so stoked for it. 